Uh, my name is C.J. Keel, spelled Keel Echo Echo Lima, a uh, landowner in this process. I guess from an environmental impact standpoint, <clears throat> some of my questions are, um, when, you, when you talk about warm wetlands, do you go through wetlands? How do you handle wetlands? How do you handle open water? How do you handle property that, uh, <clears throat> for example, I have a gas line that's in my backyard now. It cuts between my deep well and my house. And so when you put this thing as it's scheduled to go now, it's going to take the 36 inches, it's going to take, what, 150 feet? Is that the uh, 150 feet on each side or is it 75 feet on each side? Okay, Kevin, I'll be happy to answer this question. And one thing I want to clarify is the FERC is the regulatory agency, so I'm not, we're not building Okay, so you're not, okay. So I they, they are going to build some, but your question is mm -hmm. is how are they going to build it? That's, no, we're no. going to answer that. And, I mean, we're going to look at that, that. That's not really the question at this point. My question is, from your standpoint, as an environmental, do you allow that to go through in, uh, through weapons? Do you allow it to go through open water? So I already have one to go through open water now, through a pond now. But my comment is, is again, is that this is going to be in my backyard, and the size that they're going to put here is going to impact again on the property, the, the house that I live in. I mean, it's going to be uh, literally uh, uh, 50 feet from one pipeline and, and probably uh, uh, 100 yards, 200 yards to the other. So I'm sandwiched in between this process. Um, so, you know, what's the time frame on? The application. How long are we going to? How long is it going to be before you think they're going to make an application for this? Okay. So a couple of questions, and then we make sure I, I answer them for you. Starting with the last one, we're in the pre-filing process. To start in right. October. Uh, it's my understanding that they would like to file an application in October of 2014. Mm -hmm. So this is March 5th. So you know, we've got several months still in, in the pre-filing process. Mm -hmm. Once an application is filed, it generally takes us about a year to review that application, prepare our environmental impact statement. So it'll be sometime in 2015 by the time we prepare a, a draft environmental impact statement and final impact statement. Mm -hmm. And it'll probably be in late in 2015 before the commission considers this project for approval. Okay. So, yeah, your question is, and talking about our pipelines located through wetlands and open water, and I've worked on pipelines all across the country, and, and yes, pipelines are, have been located through open water, you know, across water bodies across wetlands, and then my job is to conduct an environmental review, so we assess that. Can it go somewhere else? Is there a better way to do this? Then you try to avoid that if you can, as far as that. Yes, and the, the object is, and I believe the company's object is to, is to minimize the environmental impact. So to avoid, minimize, and mitigate. So the answer is yes, you try to avoid those things. And so I like the idea that I'm going to get some information from you guys that you're transparent, which is unusual for the government, I think. Um, but at, 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 at any rate, um, I guess we're more in a planning stage. We're a little bit on the planning stage at this point, are we? I would say this is the development stage. I mean, they have some plans, and now they're, they're doing their homework, and we're assisting in that process in the pre planning stage. So I'd say, I call this the development stage and the planning stage. Well, I'm really concerned about what you guys do, you know, what your decisions are, you know, your, your environmental decisions. And I looked at your list and, and how it affects, you know, properties and for people and animals and that sort of stuff, you know, so um, uh, later on, is there someone that I can get to that I can talk to about specific questions that I'm not taking up everybody else's time? Yes, yeah, so you can talk to me. And an example of something we do in our environmental review is people are concerned about groundwater. You know, everyone, I think a lot of people here are on wells, so we need to learn is the flirting off how deep are the wells. I think some parts of the county, they're 30 feet, and some parts, they go down 300. So how is that pipeline going to affect these wells? And you know, it's complicated because there's the wells that are shallow and there's the deep wells. And what are the potential impacts to groundwater flow, groundwater quality? And it's a lot to sort out. And this is a long pipeline project, so we have to do that. It's kind of out of your bed, but I'm more concerned about the, the, uh, the safety projects and the safety uh, record of this company. Say they did what, three explosions now? People killed and so. Well, there's a lot to consider, and the slide I had before just had a fraction of what we do consider. So, pipeline integrity, public safety, groundwater, uh, you know, gopher tortoises, right. people, you know, beavers. They, what's that? Beavers. Beavers, you know, and as people impact their houses. So, there's just a lot to consider, and I could probably talk for an hour on all the different things, get the details. Just the fact that you can get to some writing to an individual that I can't. You know, sit down and say this is what my, my problem is and it registers with that person 
as opposed to being uh, in an open environment with support supporters. Well, that individual is me. I'm the environmental project manager, and that individual is me, and I would stay here until they kick me out of the building to talk to anybody one on one. And the reason we have this meeting in the court reporter is in case I get hit by a bus tomorrow, my replacement will know how all that information. <laughs> You're welcome. Process question.